In my previous video, I introduced this DYS three-axis gimbal carrying the Sony Nex5, and I mentioned I would post an update related to how my tuning progress is coming along. And if you recall, I used the simple BGC GUI to do auto-tuning of my PID gains. And while that is an awesome feature, I've come to discover that isn't the final settings that you want to use when you're tuning this gimbal. It's definitely a good starting place. But in this video, I wanna walk through the process that I've been using, as well as introduce you how to tune this wirelessly using a Bluetooth module. Let me just show you real quick how this thing performs while on the bench. So ignore all the cables dangling from the gimbal and the roll axis needs to be dialed in a little bit more. With that being said, I've spent a lot of time just doing manual tuning beyond what we came up with through auto tuning, but that process has been cumbersome. I've tuned on the bench, hovered in the garage, landed, tuned again, and just kind of repeated that process and feel like we're on the brink of having it completely dialed in. But while it's in the air, I have noticed a few high frequency vibrations that I'd like to sort out. What I'm going to demonstrate is setting up this nice four pin connector, as you can see, on each end. We're gonna connect it to our port on the simple BGC board and ultimately connect this Bluetooth HC06 module to the other end. What that will allow me to do is connect my simple BGC GUI on my laptop wirelessly so I can tune. Ideally in the air, maybe I'm hovering and have a friend do the tuning, or at least I can land and quickly tune, take the gimbal back up and see how those PID gains behave. We'll start with the FTDI cable with USB on one end and then our Bluetooth module. You can see here I have the pins broken out. And if you're uncertain about how these pins match up, there's a five volts, a ground, a transmit, and a receive. Ultimately, you want transmit on one end to go to receive on the other, and vice versa with receive going to transmit. And I'll go ahead and connect that to our module. Now I'll go ahead and connect the FTDI cable to my computer. See our LED blinking? Now I've opened the Arduino IDE. You can use any sort of serial port programming tool, but this makes it pretty easy. I'll go to the tools menu, serial port, and you can see that we have this USB serial, which is our Bluetooth module. I'll select that. Then next we want to use the serial monitor. And in the bottom right, if you're using this module for the first time, normally they come configured at 9600 baud, so we'll leave that alone. And what I'll do next is I'll just send a simple AT command to see if we can communicate with it. And when I click send, you can see it responds with OK. So now I wanna do two things. One, we wanna give this module a name so that when we're searching for it via Bluetooth, it shows up. Then we want to change the baud rate. So I'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll do AT plus name. With no space, we'll specify the name. In this case, I'll just call it simple BGC and click send. And you can see it responds with OK, set name. As a quick test, I'll open up my Bluetooth settings on my Mac and we'll go ahead and see if it discovers. You can see that that shows up. So it's communicating over Bluetooth, reporting, and you can see its name is simple BGC. Now that our name is set, we're going to set the baud rate. So you use the AT plus baud command. And now there are different numbers associated with speeds. And I know in this case, we want to have 115, 200 for communication with the simple BGC board. So that's going to be number eight. I'll go ahead and send that. And you can see that it responded with okay. 115 200. Now with our Bluetooth module configured, I've plugged in the four pin connector that comes with a DYS gimbal. You'll notice the one line with the white dashes. We'll plug that into VCC. And the other end of the connector, the white dashes will go into five volts on the simple BGC board. 
And I'll go ahead and give power to the gimbal. Hopefully no smoke or explosions happen. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see that our Bluetooth module is now powered. Now what you'll want to do, depending on what operating system you're on, you're going to want to open your Bluetooth preferences. This is my Mac. You'll see that the simple BGC module shows up. I'll go ahead and click pair. Now you'll see that it shows pairing failed. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and click options. And then we're going to enter the default code for this module. It's one, two, three, four. I'll hit pair again. And after entering that code, it shows we're connected. So with our paired device, I'm now in simple BGC GUI. I'm going to select our connection options and you'll see that we have this simple BGC dev B here. So I'll select that and then click connect. And you'll see what was once a blinking red LED is now constant. And I'll go to our basic tab. You can see our PID gain set here. Now these are the ones we saw earlier on the bench have been working well, but I actually want to start tuning those and I'll be able to do that now wirelessly through this Bluetooth link. And now let me demonstrate this working. So this is our yaw, which I've struggled with a good bit and I'm just going to go in and let's say I bump that up to 45. I'll click right and you can hear the board respond and those settings are now saved. So I'll go ahead and continue working on these gains and this is just going to be a tremendous help which will save me both time and frustration when trying to get these gains dialed in. And as I mentioned previously, I'd love to be able to do this tuning while it's in the air. I might have a friend help me do that. So I wanted to share that how-to with you guys. I've never done this before, but it's going to be a huge help, just like when I went from cabling to my APM or PixHawk to 3DR telemetry and being able to do that wirelessly. It really makes a world of difference. When I get these gains dialed in, I'll definitely share them with you guys for anyone that's flying a Sony X5. Hopefully we can make this DYS gimbal perform well in the air. So I hope you guys found this useful. These modules are really inexpensive. I'll post a link to them below. If you have any questions or comments, please share them. And until next time, thanks for watching.